This video is going to be about my, I don't know, it will be about my experience of using Acer's uh, virtual reality. So this is Windows Mixed Reality actually, but same sort of thing, comes with a headset, two controllers. So this will be the headset itself. It's got um, a clamp that clamps to the back of your head with a well clamping wheel so you can keep moving it and then obviously adjust it to the back of your head. Then it's got these goggles and stuff that you can see the actual virtual reality mechanics inside. Then it's got this nice soft foam for your face and everything like that. Um, and it also got a band there as well. It feels like a sweat band because obviously you've been playing it for quite a long time. And it's got these sensors there as well. These are like cameras for obviously your handheld uh, bits as well. And um, it's got the windows like button there and the controller, or is this a button? I think this is a pad, I can't remember, but this is an actual controller itself. Button there and a trigger button right there. Then these light up, like little stars and stuff. And it's quite light in the hand. I've already played with them, it's pretty cool. Um, I'm using a laptop at the moment, um, but we'll go for the minimum specs in one second because I'm going to be using the GSP 600s. Uh, yep, GSP 600s. And that's what I'm going to be using, obviously, for the sound effects to make sure that it sounds like really like intense and stuff like that. So I'm using that and um, I'm going to be connecting it to another, no other than Acer Nitro 5 laptop. And uh, this has got, uh, this has got a Core i7 in it, uh, CPU. So, and it's got eight gigabytes of RAM and an SSD in it, and it should be sufficient. That's like a minimum requirement for, well, mobile, more mobile uh, KB Lake, obviously, not like proper KB Lake, like desktop or anything like that, you know? But anyway, let's go through the specs real quick. The specs on the back. Minimum PC specification, Windows 10, full creators update. So Intel's Core i5, seventh generation, mobile. So that's hyper-threading, but it's the mobile KB Lake version. And then, or an Intel Core i5, sixth generation, which is Skylake, uh, desktop CPU. Well, NVIDIA GTX 965M, mobile or NVIDIA GTX 960 or 1050 uh, desktop. So that's pretty cool that you can use like a good graphics card that can play most AA games, but just not on the highest, like, graphics, obviously, but yeah. They're still good. You've got DirectX 12, SVGA, HDMI 1.4 port, USB 3 port, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 10 gigabytes of space on the hard drive, Bluetooth 4.0, but recommended piece of specification, Intel Core i7, 6th generation with 6 cores desktop, Skylake, so obviously. NVIDIA GTX, so we're going back a few generations to so GTX 980 or a 1060, HDMI 2.0 port, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and um, oh, latest updates and all that, obviously update your software and stuff like that, and your graphics. 289 degree or something, backlit old, oh, LCD, uh, 1440 by times are 1440 per eye, refresh rate 60 hertz or 90 hertz required HDMI 2.0, 95 degree filled, of view inside and out tracking and VGA cameras, 440 grams, that's what it weighs. But I tell you what, I don't even notice this even on my head. And then we've got four meters of cable and HDMI 2 and USB 3 cable, motion controller specifications and two wireless controllers, left and right, two AA batteries and stuff to go in the controllers, which is on the back here. And uh, these are the Sainsbury's alkaline batteries. So technically you want some rechargeable batteries to last even longer. But yes, that's pretty cool. And uh, enough talking, let's get on with the experience and see what I feel about them. Pew, pew. Pull trigger, oh, that one. At the back. This is so big. Hey. Human. Whoa. Why am I so close? Why are you so close to me?
Holy crap. How'd you get the car? Oh, my. Ah! What's that? Ah, what, what am I touching? Oh, got guns. Hey. Yeah. Woo! Hey. Where's my guns? Oh my god, that's pathetic. This is like being in PlayStation Home. <laughs> what the hell? This is crazy. Slip place. Look there. Oh, what the hell? Holy crap! Oh my gosh. Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> Where are you going? What? I can feel some cables on me. Oh my god. Oh, what? What the hell? That is way too realistic. If you got any got no friends, use this. <laughs> I can't do that. I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> That's creepy man. Right, you gotta go because you're creepy. Whew. Well the experience of uh mixed reality is uh it is something that is absolutely nuts. It really is nuts. Um, it would be nice to have much better graphics because I just think that, I don't know if we're ready for it yet or not, but it is amazing. It's like being in PlayStation Home, but you, you're actually in there. And it's, sometimes it's really creepy seeing like the people, like the woman was dancing and the guy was doing like uh, squats. I can see where you can go with mixed reality. You could obviously take it a lot more further. You could obviously walk around in certain places if you had like a plate that you can walk on. Because uh, obviously walking around with that shorter cable could obviously break stuff. 
and uh, you could obviously break stuff yourself by hurting yourself. But um, it's really good being in a different augmented reality. It's really, I don't think that's the right word, augmented, but it is something to do with reality. Uh, I'm pretty blown away by it. Uh, for the price, I think it's really good. Um, yeah, I think it's really good. If, you're, if you want to get into mixed reality, I can see the benefits of like other developers getting in and building something. So like gym work and how to do things, but obviously I need more better graphics. But I can imagine playing videos and checking out different, it's just immense of the stuff that you can do with virtual reality. But yeah, I'm looking forward to like the future of more virtual reality and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I highly recommend it. So I technically give this Acer thing, I give this like seven out of 10. Only because I know it can only get better. Uh, but if it, if it can only get to this level, no more level than this, then nah. But technically, um, I've had this on my head. It's really comfortable. It clamps your head when you want it to, but it doesn't give you fatiguing. Um, and it doesn't hurt your face, but you, when you take it off, you're like, where am I, where am I? It's really quite crazy. And I could see with the goggles, like where it's a little bit blurry, you have to be looking straight on, then it blurs to the side a little bit. I don't know whether it's trying to give you like what our own perspective of how our eyes work, but yeah, I think this is absolutely nuts. And then obviously with the sound as well, it's really scary. People can make you jump and everything like that, but yeah, highly recommend it, especially with the uh, controllers. The controllers are pretty cool but um, still need to get used to it. Anyway, I hope this is uh, enough of the virtual reality or mixed reality or argument reality uh, for you. Comment down below, subscribe, and share this video like mad because everyone should be at least having a look at virtual reality. It's in our homes for today. Oh, one thing before I go. It doesn't work with everything because I did try to use, um, what was it? A roller coaster ride um, through Steam and it didn't work, so that's pretty annoying. So, certain software is not going to work with this, and other software is going to work with Oculus Rift and uh, HTC. So, Ace has got their own sort of version, which is obviously with Windows, which is obviously Microsoft saw, and it should work. But sometimes it says it's going to work with it, but it doesn't. So, that's the only like downfall. So, developers need to get ready and start making some more. But anyway, I'm out.